Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to The Mental House with me, your illustrious host, Khadija. Well, y'all, they say we missed the big one today. They said we missed the huge one, the huge one, the huge one. So whatever side of the diaspora that you own, you would have been wiped out. It's earth. You know, and sometimes I think a lot of us can't see past our own small existence. Like Reverend, like uh, Ray Hagen always says, um, you know, this is a circle. And everything inside this circle represents my circumference of knowing. Look at here. So everything outside is what I don't know. And I thought that was a very good analogy. Uh, and I want to thank you, uh, Pastor Hagen, because you already know um, I respect you a whole lot. Anyway, who, he's a person who has a similar background as mine. And um, I was with the African village here in uh, the Washington. And I had a chance to uh, meet with uh, Ray Hagen. But I respect him and I respect his uh, knowledge base. Anyway, Sarah. Anyway, make a long story short. Um, we always see things on a small level, like I said, in our circumference. And a lot of us is not thinking that what just passed us. So let me share it with y'all for those who don't know. An asteroid, and before my father passed away, uh, God bless the dead, um, it, an asteroid just passed Earth today. It was so close, it was big as a stadium. And my father used to always talk, he thought it was coming last year. He said, y'all better look out, we better look out for that uh, 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 asteroid. Nobody thinking about that asteroid. It was so close. A giant asteroid dubbed two, 2015 DR215, which is said to be as large as a football stadium, has just made its closest approach to Earth. NASA has put it under the category of potentially dangerous asteroids due to its close approach to Earth. It was seen for the first time on February 28th, I mean, February 18th, 2015. The asteroid is 910 feet wide, which is 277 meters. Oh, God. Anyway, they say the relief is that asteroid 2015 DR15 passed the Earth at a distance of 6,000, 6, 6,700,000 uh, kilometers, which is 4.1 million miles safely. Uh, this seems a large distance by Earth standards, but by space standards, it isn't that large at all because. They say that heaven is ten zillion light years away, and just the pure at heart will walk a righteous street someday. Wow. Now, this thing that was the closest. Now, this is not the first time that asteroid 2015 DR-15 made its closest approach to Earth. It was last observed on January 13, 2021. That's when my father was expected to hit. And even in the coming decades, it is expected to make 31 more close approaches to Earth. Ooh, NASA Center for Near Earth Object Studies suggested. The 2015 DR215 asteroid orbits the sun every 199 days. Okay? Get it right. It orbits the sun every 199 days. 
Just the mere thought of getting hit by a massive asteroid generates terror in the mind. However, you cannot wish androids away as history has been witness to countless of asteroids hits on Earth. Asteroids have hit Earth over the course of its history. And that's what Dr. Kelly Fast said. Uh, the planetary defense expert and a manager at NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office. I mean, and it's amazing because to me, we don't, that's why I said we, we spend a lot of time thinking what's in this circumference. Y'all ever talk about what's going to happen if the whole earth get blown up? I mean, what, what, or, or in terms of global warming for those who don't believe in it, all this stuff is for naught. What you're fighting for if you ain't going to have no earth to fight for it on. But we got to take care of the land and the environment a lot better than we have been doing. You know, God has blessed us with all this beauty. And I know it's a lot of ugliness, but it's a lot of beauty as well. And um, it could all be gone at, at the drop of a hat. And I don't think a lot of us think about that because there's been a lot of asteroids, but they were very small in size that passed the Earth, maybe that hit the Earth. Actually, small in size asteroids can be detected passing the Earth several times a month. Meteors, which are very small pieces of asteroid and comets, are usually less than three feet in size, and they can hit and explode in the atmosphere of the Earth. In fact, it happens almost every day. We don't think about those. I know I don't. Dr. Fast explained that large asteroids, which may pose a threat to Earth, are easier to locate than the smaller ones. And our solar system has fewer of these larger asteroids. Therefore, tracking these asteroids become a critical task for NASA. Because they have to evaluate and then pose what kind of threat that these big ass meteors uh, present. So I'm not giving you that for you have something else to worry about. I'm just saying uh, we're, we're in good hands uh, because um, at least NASA is constantly tracking these potential hazardous asteroids. And um, if nothing else, you'll know they're on the way. I mean, because it was actually kind of terrifying uh, that, 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 that the three, they, the small ones that crash into the Earth if a shocking big asteroid hit the size of a stadium? I don't know, y'all. What y'all think? Tell me what y'all think about this uh, article coming out of NASA. Uh, do you ever think about things like that? Is it even important to you? What happens if the Earth gets hit by an asteroid and we all pass away? All right. I'd like to know what you think. Let me know in the next video. I mean, let me know in your comment section below. And I'll see you in the next video.